we have the little board here set up and ready to go and before I continue I'd just like to point out that the board was less than 10 euro but with postage from raspberry it cost me a total of 13 euro and 60 cents now also um, you have your power lead which uh, micro usb it'll plug into any usb slot and that was in the region of about three euro Then you have your little micro USB to USB adapter. That again cost me three euro seventy five. And then the mini HDMI to HDMI lead that cost me six euro. The micro SD card is an eight gig. And I had that lying around, but what I went, I went onto the Raspberry site and downloaded Raspbian, in which it'll be in the link below. Again, the kidney keyboard that cost me just over 10 euro, and it works fine. Now what we'll do is we'll just plug it in and set it up. Also. I forgot to mention that the, the Wi-Fi on this is 802.11n and it also has Bluetooth 4.1 LE. LE stands for low energy. Right, it's booting up there. We'll just switch on the TV. You can set it up on any TV with a HDMI port. It does push out 1080p, again depending on your TV. TV here is telling me it's reading 1080i. That's the TV itself. Yeah, booting up there now. It'll take a moment or two. It's reading the little micro SD card. And there's a small little LED on the board. It's flashing away to show that it's doing something. Right. That's a nice clear picture. It's like a Windows desktop look. Again, that's Raspbian. And there we go. Little mouse pad on the kidney board. Appears to be working fine. Let's go up and have a look and see do we have Wi Fi. Now, my modem is probably about six to eight meters away through a wall and a floor there we go we'll try that one and i'll just put in the password looking for it there now and we have connection now I do I do and I have read up that the Raspberry Pi 3 had a similar Wi-Fi but it was a lot weaker this one appears to be quite stronger and Raspberry have announced that because of the little cavity triangle on the board it has improved the Wi-Fi connection which is good yeah we'll have a look over here we can see what we can do. You can do a little bit of programming and the following. Scratch as I understand is very good. I haven't got into it myself. But I'm sure one of us driveway dudes will. They have their own version of Office. You have your internet which has Chromium web browser. Now I do understand you can also get a version of Firefox if you like. 
add a couple of games and then you have our accessories seems quite a nice little gadget let's just try the internet yeah, there we go we're gonna have a look and see how quick it's going to connect and it's connecting to chromium which is chrome for raspberry i believe and it should pull up google there we go it looks like it's complete and let's just see just searching for raspberry and see how quick Again, it's only a small little single board computer with a one gig chip, 512 meg of RAM. So it's fairly basic, but it's good for different things. Now I did hear that you there is a Pi OBD system you can get, software that you can put onto it and do a diagnostics on your car. If you happen to have a DVD player in your car, you can connect it to your DVD player and have a real-time readout on it. So there we go, Raspberry. Raspberry, they give a lot of information and a, there is a lot of information Oh, it does appear to be working okay. A little slow, I mean, you're a total outlay of less than 40 euro. You have a working mini computer. You can go buy something, a streaming stick will cost you more and do a lot less. Well, that's about it. Hope you enjoy. The links are below for the information you need for the Raspberry. I hope you enjoyed this little demonstration. Don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe. Thank you.